Hi, I'm Devakar Bansu from PI's Hercules Safety MCU product marketing team. And I'm Anthony Vaughn, also from the Hercules product marketing team. Anthony, you meet a lot of engineering teams across multiple industries that are looking at using safety microcontrollers for their applications. Can you share some of your experiences? Sure, Devakar. I meet with several teams that want to use our safety MCUs to ease their development of products that need to comply with safety standards like ISO 26262 and IEC 61508. Many people are intimidated by the complexity that safety systems entail. Also, many of the available evaluation platforms out there are not affordable enough for every engineer and large teams to get one. So, if there was a simple way to introduce people to the safety features on Hercules MCUs and get them started with a hands-on experience, it would be a really great benefit. All right, I have a solution for you. We have recently introduced a new kit for Hercules MCUs, which can address both of these issues. For less than $20, and yes, you heard it right, Less than $20, it is the lowest cost evaluation platform we offer with the capability of evaluating the built-in safety features of the Hercules MCUs. Really? That's extremely exciting. What's included in this kit? The kit includes everything that you need to get started with Hercules MCUs. It contains a launchpad evaluation board, a USB debug cable, and a quick start guide. Tell me more about the features on board this launchpad. The board is really easy to use. It's completely powered through the USB interface, and an onboard XDS 100 V2 JDAG emulator allows for debug and eliminates the need for expensive external emulation tools. It has an ambient light sensor hooked up to one of the ADC inputs. This can be used to show how the analog information from sensor is converted to a digital value by an MCU's on-chip ADC. There are two general purpose LEDs, one connected to the high-end timer module, and the other one connected to the general purpose IO module. There is an expansion header to plug in add-on modules called booster packs for additional functionality. There are also push buttons to generate warm and power on resets. There is an additional push button switch that can be used to generate a pulse to a general purpose input. DeWalker, that's great. It sounds like people will be able to power up the board and start blinking some LEDs on the launch pad very quickly and easily. But will users be able to evaluate the integrated safety features in the Hercules MCU? Yes, getting started with the advanced safety features is really easy. Some great PC-based software is available for download from the Hercules Launchpad portal. Go to ti.com slash launchpad and select the Hercules Launchpad tab. First, download and install the latest version of Code Composer Studio, or CCS, the has integrated development environment. During the install, all drivers necessarily use the board and its integrated XDS100 V2 JTAG emulator will be placed on the user's PC. It is important to make sure that board is not plugged in until after the installation is complete. After the install is complete, the free license option should be selected. Since the launchpad has an XDS100 V2 on it, there is a free CCS license to go along with it. This license is not time or code size limited. The next step is to download and install the Hercules Safety MCU demos that are available on the Hercules Launchpad Wiki page. Then simply connect the board to the USB port on the Windows PC using the provided micro USB cable. So once you have installed the software and connected the board, you'll see the power LEDs on the launchpad go up. These LEDs are located next to the micro USB connector on the launch pad. Now I'm going to show you how to start the Hercules Safety MCU demos. It can either be started from the Programs menu on the Windows or through the desktop uh, shortcut that's available. You'll see the board has been detected, and it gives you a number of options to, to play around with the Hercules launch pad. We'll start with the safety features. A number of safety features are, are available on the Hercules launch pad. Uh, the first one is the CPU self-test which when invoked would start to run the CPU self-test using the Elvis controller on the launch pad. The next one is the memory self-test, which would run a memory self-test using the PBIS controller on the available memories, including the system RAM and all the peripheral memories. Now I'm going to inject a fault into the microcontroller and show you how it's detected by the ESM module, which is error signaling module, and how it's conveyed to the outside world. Core compare error has been injected. ESM has detected that fault, and through the N error pin, it has toggled the error LED on the launch pad. You can clear the error and start to inject any other fault, for example, MIPS by parity error. And the same thing happens, the red LED on the launch pad goes up through the ESM indicating that fault. There are a number of online resources available where you can go to get more information about Hercules MCUs. The first is the Hercules webpage that's on TI.com. Here you can download official device data sheets, technical reference manuals, application notes, and device safety manuals. You can visit the Hercules Launchpad portal to get information about the evaluation kits. You can also download software like Halcogen and Code Composer Studio. You can also order development kits through the TIE store from these web pages. The next resource is the Hercules Launchpad Wiki, where you can find a starter project, 
and Hercules Safety MCU demos for download. The wiki also contains useful information like the development kit board schematics and training content. The next online resource that is at your disposal is the TI Engineer to Engineer or E2E support forum. Here you can find latest information and announcements about Hercules MCUs in addition to searching for technical content about Hercules. There's also a team of applications engineers available to answer questions posted on this forum. The next web resource is the Hercules training website. Here you can sign up for in-person training classes or watch online training videos. We hope that you have found this video useful. Thank you very much for watching.